Podcast from across. Yokosuka, 1986. Ryo Hazuki's fate is abruptly and irrevocably changed. When his father Iwao is murdered by a mysterious man named Lan Di, Ryo, young and inexperienced, is no match for him. Lan Di takes the dragon mirror, long hidden and guarded at the dojo. With his dying breath, Iwao imparts one last piece of wisdom to his son. Keep your loved ones close to you. Not yet able to fully appreciate the meaning behind those words, Ryo leaves the dojo behind and vows to take revenge against Lan Di. Ryo hunts for clues as to the whereabouts of his father's killer. A letter arriving all too late warns of encroaching danger. Its contents point Ryo towards a certain Master Chun, who reveals the existence of a second mirror. Unraveling the mysteries buried beneath the family dojo leads Ryo to this fabled Phoenix Mirror. However, this attracts a new threat. A crooked man named Chai stalks Ro in hopes of getting his hands on the mirror. Thanks to the Chen family, Ro manages to protect the mirror from Chai. He next decides to depart for Hong Kong in pursuit of Lan Di. More trouble, however, is already waiting for him before he leaves. From goons at the docks to a tough gang of bikers known as the Mad Angels. The evil that confronts him even moves to sink its teeth into his dear friend, Nozomi Harasaki. But Ryo's heart is driven, and with his comrades to aid him, he is able to overcome all obstacles in his path. The waves lapping against his home shore tell Ryo he must now leave Japan to continue his quest. Having chosen a difficult path, Ryo Hazuki remains undeterred as his fate calls to him. He arrives in Hong Kong. But in this unfamiliar land, who can he possibly trust? When his money is stolen and he is left destitute, he turns to the kindness of a young woman named Joy. He finds himself wandering the streets of Wan Chai to arrive at Mon Mo Temple. There he meets Xie Ying Hong, who claims to know something as to Lan Di's whereabouts. Sensing in Ro a thirst for bloody revenge, however, she refuses to talk. Instead, she attempts to dampen the flames of his rage through instruction, but her efforts prove in vain when Ryo meets with a man named Ren Wu Ying. Learning of the Phoenix Mirror, Ren's mind turns toward the riches that could be theirs. Ren reveals that Zhu Renda has sequestered himself within the Kowloon Walled City.
But what waits for them in Kowloon is Donyo and the Yellowheads, a gang of brutal fighters in service to Londi. Leo overpowers Donyo, but Londi just manages to escape. Ryo learns that he has made for Guilin. Parting from the warm company he found in Hong Kong, Ryo continues the pursuit alone. In the backcountry of Guilin, Ryo encounters a young lady named Shen Hua. This twist of fate will change everything for him and for her as well. What ancient mystery is locked away by the dragon and phoenix mirrors? What of Londi, whose hands are stained with the blood of Ryo's father? Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me, and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the...? Ryo! Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him, the strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above, 
Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. That's Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Uh... Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. <laughs> 